we're we're going we're guided uh, to the underbelly of Jerusalem, old Jerusalem. Yeah, we just had an amazing lunch. Okay, before you go outside, here you can see we're inside the mountain, mm -hmm. and you go out. Uh, we just wrote our notes, uh, a letter to God, and uh, we're gonna put it in this wall where everybody puts their prayers in the wall. Now we're um, walking through uh, this military ceremony. And uh, I'm gonna deliver the notes to the army. And I don't know why, but uh, I just became like so emotional. <laughs> it's just a really nice spiritual journey over here. Right now we're on the ground as well. The oh yeah, how? Huh? Really? The city is above our heads. Oh yeah. That's right. Okay. Um, just remember that we're seeing the sites that haven't been open to the public. And the reason for this is that some of them haven't been fully um, utilized, made for, uh, made for visitors. Please take caution as we're coming inside. Last one in, please close the door behind you. Mind your head, the guys. Yeah. It's really hot and humid in here. It's warm because we're out here. Yeah. So this is gonna be open for public. Um, that's the that's the goal, but it's going to take some time. Okay. So um, we just saw a stone that was like how many meters? It must have been like twenty. It's thirteen meters. It's thirteen meters. Okay, thirteen meters something. Uh, and we're gonna get to the course of how they transferred that stone from one place to this place because that seems like an impossible task to do. Oh God, we have a school group of children here. So this is the spot where they uh, put their notes in the wall. And here's mine. We're um, at grandma's party now. Well, not my grandma, but Leah's grandma. And everybody is super sweet, and there are a lot of children over here. And um, they love to take pictures. So um, I'm just completely conservative, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to show you around. Keppel uh, food. Oh, Keppel food. Yeah. Southern Hill food. Yeah. And, oh yeah, shit, I was talking, oh, I have to talk English. My God, I keep, I'm so stupid. Okay, so, uh, how, how do you call that? Capital chip. You call it capital chip? <laughs> no, I don't speak Hebrew. <laughs> Leah, you think the cake is edible? Yeah, I think it's edible, she just said. All right. It's made of chocolate, the picture. Okay, good. We just saw Shira and her parents and I haven't seen her like in 29 years and uh, now we're going to go to the beach. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. This is pretty. Rainbows! Oh look it goes all the way! Th oh my god! Wow! Daddy! Daddy! Double rainbow! Double oh. rainbow! And over there you have sandboats. Tel Aviv Beach. And a nice shot of the whole crew. Linda, 
Yes. Could you tell the story how we guys met each other? <laughs> we met because Doreen wandered into our front yard in Discovery Bay. Really? Yeah. yeah. When and I was about well, two years well, old? Well, um, my mom, my mother lost Barbara, me. was hiding and, and, try, and trying to see what Doreen was going to do. So Doreen wandered in our front yard and and I, I looked at this baby all by herself and I felt sorry for her, so I invited <laughs> her in. That's how we met Doreen. Yeah. They fed her. They fed me. <laughs> no, it didn't take long before Barbara she came looking uh, for her kid. Yeah, looked for her kid. Yeah. So that's... Because uh, Barbara went ahead and kind of like hid. Yeah, I do that a lot with my uh, niece and nephews because uh, they also do that a lot, you know. They just wander off, and then you just hide and see if they if they miss you, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they just go ahead and think that there's no danger in the world. So uh, all children apparently do that. But that's how we met. Now we're on the way to the airport, and uh, we're gonna see Linda tomorrow and Leah this year. Yes. Yep, later this year. We yeah. have to go back to the states. And then we're gonna meet them again. Oh yeah, and then next year we're gonna have a reunion with all Discovery Bay, all the people in Hong Kong, from Hong Kong that we met there in uh, Vietnam. But first we go to Jaffa. Uh, first we go to Jaffa, and, uh, and we're also gonna bring our virtual reality glasses, right? Yeah. So we can. Yeah, don't tell anybody this. Oh, we're not gonna tell anybody this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So we're being escorted by two beautiful ladies to the gate. <laughs>